Like and subscribe if you know about the lizard people living in the hollow earth. Welcome back to the channel, little flexors. Thank you so much for clicking on today's video. My name is JW Crewall, AKA Flex Daddy. And today we have another fan favorite Friday deck. This one from Sarmichus who says, play a dark GLC deck with a bunch of snipe attackers. Let's take a look at the snipe attackers that they were referencing. So here's the Hydreigon with the Berserker Blade attack, 60 damage, but does 40 to two of your opponents benched. It also has the ability Dark Aura that says all energy attached to this Pokemon are dark energy instead of their usual type. So if we attach twin or double colorless energy, then it's going to automatically be turned into dark energy. And that's how we can get this Hydreigon powered up very quickly. We're also playing a Zigzagoon. I mean, this is not really that uh, special in and of itself, but it combos extremely well with this Mandibuzz, which has the blind side attack that does 100 damage to one of your opponent's Pokemon that has any damage counters on it. We're also playing a Weavile with the Rule of Evil that does 60 damage to each Pokemon that has an ability in play, both yours and your opponent's. So those are the cool little wrinkles that I've added to this GLC Dark deck. You're going to see it in action here in just a moment. But if you're watching this on Friday the 11th, I got some cool product here. Um... I don't know if you've heard of it, Brilliant Stars. Yeah, I'll be opening this up on my Twitch channel over at twitch.tv slash flexdaddyrighteous, but we're gonna be opening this booster box and an ETB over there at 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. We are also going to be doing this weekend a pre-release kit with my good pal, Andrew Dankus. So we're going to be opening up some of those pre-release kits of Brilliant Stars on the channel. So make sure you follow over there so you get notified of when I go live. All right, with that said, let's get into these games with our awesome GLC Dark Deck. Welcome back to Fan Favorite Friday, y'all. Dude, look at this start. My goodness. We are going second, but if we can get a Dark Energy... Well, uh, we have the Weezing. Okay, so we'll need something like a Marnie or an N. I still think it's probably best to lead the coughing. <sighs> It's it's tough. I do want to show off the Dino. Obviously, the Zerua into the Zorark is very strong. And it looks like we're facing against one of my favorite decks in the Gym Leader Challenge format, Lightning. However, <laughs> this perhaps is a Raichu-based deck. So that could be potentially bothersome. Um, hmm. what do we want to do? Um, we could see what we get off the timer ball. Please two heads. One heads? No. <laughs> oh, sheesh, bro. Sheesh. Um, okay. We'll, uh, we'll go. Dino. Wow. That timer ball really sucked. Didn't it? We'll go here. We'll go level ball and let's take a little sneak peek through what we got. Now, my initial thought was with the timer ball, we either get the Zorark or we get the, uh, the goal bat to try to draw some cards. Um, I think with this level ball, it opens us up to so many more opportunities to draw cards with that, uh, with that goal bat, so I think we'll take it. Kind of stinks because we'd love to get like a Mandibuzz or something out, but this is going to be what it is. So let's go ahead and take the Zubat. Looks like we prized the counter energy. We prized. Um, we have Boss and Guzma. Let's see. We prized. Oh, I was going to say we prized Tate and Liza. There it is. Um. What in the Pokemon did we prize? Nothing noticeable. Nothing too obvious. So I'll go ahead and take the Zubat here. And we'll pass it up. I really want to get a Dark Energy so we can at least attack with the Galarian Weezing. That could be pretty sweet on this next turn. Maybe an Ultra Ball I would consider going for a Golbat. Although that's a pretty big, pretty big cost for us to give up here. So we'll see. There's a Volkner from my opponent. They have, they have supporters. How come they get supporters? Could have just hit a heads on timer ball, but that that timer ball was being like Ben Simmons. Just sitting out. 
not coming to play. I think it's crazy, man. Ben Simmons just like getting traded and just not not playing until he got traded. And actually a similar thing for James Harden. I really thought that the trio in Brooklyn was going to do it, but Kyrie Irving kind of tough with uh kind of tough with his you know, vaccine standards and requirements and then you have Kevin Durant who's been injured for a while. James has been kind of putting the whole team on his back and then kind of decided I'm cool. Like I'm, I'm good with this. Yeah. Yeah. There's an Evo incense. And they'll grab a riot shoe. Okay. Very good. Riot shoe goes there. Pikachu retreats. So we got a blitzel in the active and we'll do an Evo shock maneuver. The great start for my opponent. And we get the Floatstone. That's going to be really good on the Zorark. But until then, what we could do is we could Weezing and prevent them from using abilities. I think I'll do that. Because then they can't pick up things. They can't use their Magneton to go behind on prizes. So I think we'll do that. Make it just a little bit harder for them to get things going. So Evo Soda into Magna Zone. I, I guess that, that would be my guess here. Try to play two supporters a turn. Pretty busted in the gym leader challenge format. However, nerfed significantly just because we can't play Lysander's trump card anymore. So you're kind of limiting your options a little bit. There's a Cindy and Caitlin. Getting rid of the field blower. That's really good. Oh, I'm so happy we didn't play our floatstone. Because I think if they can ever get some of the Paralyzed Shock off, we're going to need the Floatstone to evolve the Zorark. So there's a level ball. Get the Joltik. What the frick does this do, dude? We see a Devo Spray and a pass. Dude, just one Dark Energy, please! Alright, so there's that counter. Pass. <laughs> This is a really slow start, but we have a great equalizer here in the Galarian Weezing. Again, if we could just put a little bit of pressure onto our opponent, I'm feeling really good. Uh, but the fact that we can't is really frustrating. We need like, I would even take a Zorark at this point, try to take a prize, do something. I guess though, if we Zorarked here, they could get us with the Raichu lock. So we're just looking for a supporter here, trying to get out of this bind. We'll see what we can do on the next turn. So there's a counter catcher. There's a, uh, a lightning energy. We will see an agility. Does it prevent all effects? Oh my gosh. Uh, so another basic Pokemon to our hand. Do you think they're going to go like 12 more turns to knock out our Weezing? Literally any of these cards that they're playing would help us so much. Volkner, uh, Cynthia Caitlin, Evo Soda, Level Ball. Like, all of these are outs for us to draw some cards. Agilite. You hate to see it. Okay, we could take a knockout if we want, but we know what's coming if we do that. So I think we just have to let... The uh, the turn pass here. And go on over to our opponent's turn. Man, really makes you think about the state of the game, doesn't it? <laughs> okay, Tate and Liza. No doubt that they're looking for like a Guzma or they're looking for a boss or something like that. Try to get this wheezing out. Um, we'll see if they get it. There's a... <laughs> oh, dude. Oh my gosh, bro. <laughs> we have so many good cards, man. <laughs> I wonder if we're just going to deck out or if our opponent's going to deck out. Like you got to start thinking about that at this point. Cause we obviously know they're playing 
you know, a, a stall style deck. What does this thing do? A nerve on the Galvantula. Okay, interesting. Spider thread. Dude, put a card from your discard pile into your hand. What the f We really just need a dark energy, please. Please. I'm on my knees and I'm begging, begging you. So they're going to take back the Cindy. Smart move, smart move. We did get the dark. All right. Um, so they'll do 40 more. Put us at 110. I think we, I think we severe poison. We just are kind of a turn too late here. So there's 40. If they don't have a way to retreat, they could switch into the Lily's Polka Doll, which I'm a little bit worried about. Get rid of the poison. They could do another 40 damage to our active. If that were to happen. Okay, so they are going to boss up. Yeah, the Zerua. That's kind of what I thought here. Um, so we have an out to this. Obviously, we can evolve the Zorark. There's a floater. They're going to float into the Lily's Polka Doll, I assume. Yes, they will. Put the Lily's Polka Doll back on the bottom of the deck. And we would love to see boss. If we can boss up this Raichu. That is probably ideal. Potentially even the Magnazone. But the Riot Shoe is something that we can knock out here. So there's a Cynthia and Caitlyn. They will bring back the boss, no doubt. And then we will go from there. So there's that boss's orders. And there's an attachment. They've drawn so many cards here, man. Spider Thread for 40. Just got to hope that we don't have the Zorark. Oh, wait. You piece. All right, Devolution Spray. So What I don't know is if Devolution Spray, you can devolve and then re-evolve. I don't think you can. But I'm willing to be wrong on that one. And let's go ahead and... I don't know, like, I just, I, I'm not privy here to what's going to happen to me after I take this knockout, but if we retreated, we already know that they have boss in hand, so kind of is what it is. Let's go with, I'm not going to use the counter energy. We haven't yet played a supporter, so I think it's Colrus. So we're hoping we left our opponent in a bit of a bind here. I think they were hoping that we didn't have a Zorark, that we had been kind of dead drawing a little bit. What we might see from our opponent is like an Ace Trainer. I would imagine that could be pretty good. Um, again, I didn't want to play the Float Stone. They are down their Field Blower. But just wanted to save that for reasons. So there's a Teammates. They can, of course, play two Supporters. Oh, maybe, okay, not playing the float stone is probably decent because they could always, like, zero stick it away or something. Faba. Faba. Just to give a brief overview of where we are in the game, I feel like we aren't winning, even though we have the prize lead. In these GLC games, that doesn't mean a whole heck of a lot. Our board state is not as set up, and I'm mostly scared about this Magnus zone. There's a lot of cute plays that they can make, you know, because they probably searched out with the teammates the exact supporter that they needed. Yeah, there's a Clara, so they're going to get those uh, that Galvantula right back into hand, going to get some energy right back into hand. And I would expect here an agility from the Blitzel. So... We would love a way to disrupt our opponent, but probably not going to happen here. There's a devolution spray. Oh, no. They're going to look for a paralyze here on the Joltik. Oh, 
you guys. This would be pretty sad. They have the Glimwood Tangle. Oh my gosh, dude. What in the world? So let's draw here with the Golbat. We get a Guzma. Let's go. Let's go. And we'll take out the peak. Let's go, Guzma. <laughs> We could go with the wheezing, but I think we'll just rush in. Excuse me. Excuse me. Stand. Well, we should. Oh, no, that doesn't do anything. Um, Because they could just glimmy again with the Joltik. So we could go wheezing. They retreat. They would have to have like some kind of gust effect. Oh, we know that they have. They, we know that they have a boss's orders. So let's stand in. What would we take, though? We would take a VS Seeker. We would take a VS Seeker. All right, stand in. And then we'll take the KO, Mind Jack. And then we'll take a VS Seeker. And then they come up with the Joltik. Now, there is a 25% chance they miss here. That would be best case scenario because then we could take a knockout with Weezing. Force them to boss's orders. Force them to find, you know, more cards. So there's that. They get the peak right back out. We're going to try to kill that immediately. There's a Peonia. Okay. Very interesting. So they're really digging for something. They already played a Gladian. Maybe they just don't have any other better supporters, but I really doubt that with a hand that big. Surprised that they're going for the Peony here, but they must have prized something pretty crucial. And I wonder what that is. Maybe like a scoop of net. Maybe a Guzma of their own. They go with the Chin Chow. So that brings our total damage output to 130. There is certainly potential here for us. To go after that Magzone, and they play a Gladiant. Like, this is very confusing to me. I guess they must not have had another supporter in hand. So there's 10. And head, so they do paralyze. Okay, very frustrating. I don't know what this does. Just gonna go ahead and say it. Um, but we could take a knockout on the peak. Should we so choose? Or we could go Magnazone. Hmm. We could go Magnazone and shut it down with the wheezing. And then maybe they don't have like a way to move that out of the active. Is it better for us to try to disrupt them in that way? Or is it better for us to just take a knockout on the peak? That's tough. That is tough. Let's... They really gunned hard for this Chin Chow, didn't they? Hmm. Let's go Guzma. I think you gotta go onto the peak, because then otherwise they can just loop the Joltik. So let's go here onto the onto the peak. I'm open to being wrong on this one. Very open to being wrong on this one. But uh then we'll do a little Mind Jackicity. 130. And we'll take. We will take our own teammates. Yeah, I think that makes sense for us. They are eventually going to take a knockout, whether or not it happens this turn or a future turn. We won't know. Oh, that salvage is pretty good. Okay, so that's how they're going to prevent themselves from decking out. That's pretty cute. See a Cynthia here. We would have loved a counter stadium also, but it happens. The Glimwood is kind of hard to deal with. They're going to dig through their deck. U-turn board. Nice, nice, nice. Hmm. 
Baba, good move. Good move. And Zeb Stryka. All right. So they are ditching the Galvantula. Might not be a play. They are going to stun Needle, though. They've gotten heads literally every time. I'm a little... I'm a little PO'd. Um, let's do something like this. Let's do a little something like this. Let's... I mean... I don't know. Why not, right? Why the heck not, man? Go here. And then we'll chorus for... For a hot nine. A hot nine. All right. So, it's our best attacker. 100. I mean, it's probably the Guzzy. To be honest. I'll save the Crowback because I don't know that there's anything we can do at this point. I don't know there's anything that we want. So, we'll just go ahead and pass here. See what the opponent has. We do want to try to save the Zorark. We're really hoping for... Oh, we maybe wanted a stadium. That that might have actually been the thing we want. Put it to a 50-50 instead of a 75-25. Okay. That might have been one reason to play the Crobat. Not a huge deal because I'm like, ah, oh, well, we don't we can't play a supporter. So, you know, what what would we need that for? But yeah, maybe getting that. All right, so there's a Belalba and Bryson man. Oh no, they discarded the Tate and Liza. Bro. Not cool, bro. That's, that that also would have been a reason to draw. Let's see, what did they get? Tate and Liza. Clara, also a good card. And then they're going to stun Needle yet again with no hand. Tails. Heads. Oh, so close. So close. Oh, that's a, that's a really good card for us. <laughs> All right, so we'll go scoop up now. <laughs> You're uh you're freaking toasted, dude. You're freaking toasted. Let's go severe poison. <laughs> Discarded their own sub striker. How silly. <laughs> well, that'll make for a great YouTube video for sure. <laughs> chip chip. I refuse. And we know that the last card in their hand is something from the Joltik. I don't remember. We took a knockout and then it went back. Oh, oh, the U-turn uh, board. That's right. Big old daddy U-turn board. <laughs> All right. So we could get our Guzzy powered up. We got the twin energy left in the deck. And so we could attach here. That's fine to me. We can go. I don't even want to evolve. Let's just draw a little bit more. See what we can get. Sonia feels completely acceptable. We'll take. Absol, Sneasel. I'll take, take the two darks because we can get the Absol with the quick ball. Okay. Then we'll go ahead and severe poison. Do the dang thing. They draw. It's looking pretty grim at this point. I'm being completely honest with you. VS Seeker. Not what you want to see. We're leading in card advantage. That's really hard for a deck that wants to mill you out to uh, figure out there's a Cynthia and Caitlyn. Maybe try to get a boss fax so that can play double supporters. See that Cynthia and Caitlyn. We are going to wisely hold the Zorak in hand so that they can't boss up the Zorua and paralyze it again like they've been trying to do. There's that rescue stretcher. I think we're going to do it, ladies and gentlemen. They get back the Blitzel. Very interesting. So we see a salvage. Maybe they're going to try to flip with the agility. I'm not 
exactly sure what the strat is here. U turn bore, Devo spray, VS Seeker makes a lot of sense. We got 17 cards left. I think we'll just continue to attach here. Let's do, well, let's save that just in case. Let's do, I mean, nothing that needs to be done there. Yeah, we'll, we'll be done here. We'll pass it over to my opponent. Severe poison doesn't do anything because they're already poisoned, but taking the knockout here. And it's probably Piers the best choice for us. There's that Lily's Pokey Doll. Gonna stall for one more turn. We are out of boss effects aside from the Lysander that we just haven't seen yet. So there's Guzma. Gonna go with the Crobat, which is interesting because the Crobat does have free retreat. <laughs> They're going to Clara. Get the Joltik, I suppose. <laughs> and do Joltik things. But we, I mean, we have the Zorark, so it's in like a, they're in a lose-lose position. So they have to retreat this Blitzel into the Lily's Pokedol. That would be my suggestion. Let's see what they go for. These are the types of games where it's like, you just want to close it out. Like you want to pack it up and go home. You know, you've been playing ball for all day. And you know, these are like the, the ticky tack fouls at the end of the game. You're already up by 15. They've, they flipped two tails. All right. We'll take, we'll take the overkill. Why not? <laughs> One twenty. Oh wait, they flipped. Oh, Nuts. <laughs> They've lifted the agility. I forgot. I thought it was paralyzed. <laughs> something, something about, you know, ticky tack files at the end of the game. Maybe it's working. <laughs> oh man. I'm a silly goose. I am a silly goose. So there's the Zebstrika. Yeah, I totally should have just retreated into the Weezing, I guess. Would have been the best play here. But we see a Lusamine. This Guzzlord, it doesn't look great in the active, but it does a lot of damage. So that's pretty sick. Maybe we could have Mountain Munched last turn had we remembered. They are going to N. That's smart. That is very smart. It gets the Zorark out of our hand. And things... I, they could do it, man. They could really do it here. Oh, baby. Oh! We get the Zoroark. Let's go. <laughs> oh, man. We're going to need, like, an energy or... Uh, something here to be able to retreat this Zorark, but oh my gosh. That's crazy. We need an energy to retreat. We do need an energy to retreat. Okay, we get a Hoopa. We'll pass. Let's see. This, honestly, this Glimmy has just pulled its freaking weight, dude. We haven't been able to find a counter stadium. There's the Evo Shock. They're going to start milling us. We got 27 cards, plenty of time. Let's see what they do here. I think they should evolve at this point. I, th I think. There's the Cynthia and Caitlyn. <laughs> Just need one energy. Just a single. It could be anything. I'm really regretting not picking up this counter energy. <laughs> oh man, what if we lost, dude? I, I just had to make it interesting for you guys. <laughs> I 
I just had to make it fun, you know? What kind of... Would it be interesting if I just won, you know, immediately? No. No, you guys wouldn't think that was very interesting. Again, there's still a 25% chance that they, if they go for the Thunder Wave here, that they miss. Like, there's a very real chance that we just get out from underneath this paralyzed lock. I guess, though, at this point, they do have the scoop up net, so it makes it pretty hard. They kind of entered their end game phase where they can just sprint here with the Zip Strika. They might even retreat into the doll, which would be, I think, the best play for them. There's that pal pad. There's that pal pad. Clara and Lusamine. Okay, Lusamine makes a lot of sense because they can they can do the Bilalba Bryson Man stuff. There's the lantern. Definitely also could have played the air balloon. But that's okay. That is okay. There's a Lusamine. You don't pay attention for one turn, and then they get you. Lusamine for the Belelba, Bryce Man, and teammates. My goodness, dude. I guess the teammates, they're just going to discard because we won't be taking knockouts. Or As soon as we take a knockout, we'll have, have won the game. Um... Wow, they're going to get us with the chippy. We need it here. Not going to do it. Oh, man. Oh, I can't believe it. They're going to get us. We're here for another, like, 10 minutes <laughs> while they execute the strategy. <laughs> oh, man. Clara gets the ride shoe back. There's the Joltik. The Raichu, the Evo Shock, the Scoop Up Net, and the Salvage. Or maybe, maybe the Sprint. Maybe the Balalba. Yep. Okay. Very good. So Boss, Field Blower, and Verbank could have used that a lot earlier. And they're going to sprint for the one card left in their deck. They will be able to salvage. Put back the scoop up net, the stretcher, and like the VS seeker, maybe. Salvage. Again, we just need a single energy. Um, if we had been more judicious with our Guzzlord attachments, perhaps we wouldn't be looking at such a such a sad spot here. That's not gonna do it. We pass. Nevertheless, he passed. We also should, I don't know what kinds, uh, they might play like a Mars. I haven't seen that. Like what kind of hand disruption? I, I just haven't seen any hand disruption. So there might come a point where we play the Hoopa and play the Muscle Band just to get some cards out of our hand. So there's the Chip Chip. There's the Evolve. There's the Evo Shock. There's the Devo Spray. And the VS Seeker. The Belelba Bryson Man. They will play it. Okay, interesting. Okay, so there's an Energy Gone. Have they played the Chip Chip? They have. Okay, that's curious. I feel like I would want to force some kind of draw. All right, they get those four cards back. Energy. Research. Good enough. So, let's go here. Let's go here. Let's go here. Oh, baby. Stand in. You're done, bud. Never punished. Let's go, little flexors. That was dark in the exp 
expand. Well, not even in the expanded in the GLC format. Very, very fun deck. I think, yo, here we go. Game number two of this series. Hopefully we can utilize some of the sniping Pokemon a little bit more. I mean, we're going to need to lead with the wheezing. The wheezing kind of shuts down their entire strategy. Uh, that would be ideal. Not ideal to start the Zorark, unfortunately, but do have some good cards here. I like the Marnie early against a deck like this to try to stall them out. They're obviously going to be looking for the Substrika to get going here, but um, we'll see what we can do. Yeah, I, I really don't like starting the Zorark or the Zerua, I should say. So take a look. They get an Ultra Ball. I would. I would think that they would gun for the Zebstrika because what you have to do with this deck is you just have to run through your cards as fast as you can. You can't catch me. I'm the gingerbread man. But you got to run through your cards as fast as you can. So ooh, a couple juicy ones hit the discard pile. They're going to take a second to peruse the deck, make sure that they have, oh, things like, yo, what the, what the frick? What is this card? Shuffle your hand. Uh, um, um, we'll go here. Oh man, they don't have anything really. Let's do this. Wow, we are really hoping for a scoop up net. We're really hoping for an air balloon. We have the floatstone prized. Oh man, scoop up net or air balloon would be so tight here. Let's see, what do we got? We also have, okay, we have double colorless and twin. So I think let's try to make the play where we, um, where we go for this. I, I'll take the Zubat again. We don't have a ton of draw with this deck. Let's do the coughing and let's Marnie. The idea being, if we can get a scoop up net here, we're in such a good spot. Let's go trainer's mail. No, 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 not like this, not like this. Okay, we'll take the team, uh, Tate and Liza, I should say. Take the Tate and Liza. And very good, and we will pass. So on the next turn, we can go into the, uh, the wheezing, the beezing, if it were, as it were. And uh, get us a little bit of disruption going on. Because again, they're relying on the Raichu. They're relying on the Zubstrika. If we can mess with that strategy, we're going to put ourselves in a solid position to win the game. So, level ball here for my opponent. There's the Blitzel. Kind of thought. There's the Glimmy. Oh, no. And an end. No. <laughs> We liked all these cards, man. We really liked them. Ooh, the Guzma, though. Nice, nice. All right, we're in a solid spot still. So we can Guzma up like a Joltik and take a knockout if we'd like. There's a Rescue Scarf. They're going to go on the peak. Very interesting. So they shuffle, draw six. Pretty solid. Pretty freaking solid, dude. Let's go here. Okay, so we can Ultra Ball. But what do you get rid of? Because we would love to Guzma. Love to take out the Joltik. Or we could Scoop Up Net the Active. We want to save the Scoop Up Net as well. Wow, there's like really no good option here. So we could, we could go air balloon into the coughing and then use our attack. That seems fine. And then we could like Cynthia here. That, that doesn't seem great. It seems fine. I'll go double colorless as well. And then let's go Cynthia. Saving our Guzma, of course. And we get Ultra Ball again. 
with a couple of cards that I feel pretty good about discarding. So let's go there and there. Ultra Ball. We could take Zorark. And then we could evolve into the Weezing. Sure. We'll ascend. Rise up. Any Weezing fans in the chat? Now that's pod racing. Chip chip ice axe. No, thanks. I'm full. I think they're kind of struggling here a little bit. It's nice that we got the hiding energy as well, because if they do something like funky with the air balloon, we can always attach the hiding dark out of the Zerua. Really want to see that counter to the Glimmy because what they can start to do, they can start to agility lock us, paralyze lock us. I mean, it's crazy how good the pre evolutions are for their deck with everyone seemingly doing a paralyze, you know, agility on that substrika. Like it, it's kind of crazy. <laughs> There's a Cynthia. We do see the Zebby. We do see the Galvi. They chip chipped us. I think I'll save the Crobat. There's nothing we really desperately need. I'll draw for everyone. Very cool. Six more cards. Let's do this. Let's go some Derek. And then we'll Severe Poison. Could have attached. Didn't really feel the need to. Let's just get some poison damage on the board. Um, they're going to try to gust our Zerua. They probably have to try to do it with a gust and then a hand disruption card so they can do that with the Magnazone in play. I have to see. I'm really, <laughs> I'm sad, you guys. I'm trying to like get out the Manda buzz, <laughs> but it's like the matchup just doesn't warrant it. Like, should I play the matchup correctly or should I really lean into the fan favorite Friday? I, I'm just torn as a competitive player. I feel like. I need to play this as perf perfectly as possible. You know, like I, I should play it correctly, right? <laughs> I mean, if you're still here at this point in the video, you probably don't care <laughs> how I play it, but maybe you should. I don't know. So we got the Zorark. I don't know. I don't know if they know that we, we did. In fact, to get the Zorark. So we can just go ahead and evolve. Again, I'm not looking for anything, so I don't want to play the Crobat. Um, and then let's go ahead and retreat. And Severe Poison. We'll take our first KO of the game. And again, with the Ability Lock, they're now down a boss. We have a boss. That's pretty cool. Me likey. What would we want to target? So taking the Zoro. I guess this is, we should have maybe gone for the stadium. Okay. Tails, two tails, please. Let's go. It finally happened. So I think, all right, let's try to go for the stadium. So crab it. Hmm. Hmm. So now what we could do is we could boss up the Zebstrika and take a KO. That could be kind of cool. Remove all of their draw and then they go for another Chin Chow and then we scoop up or we could play it safe and just go with the wheezing. I think we just play it safe here. We could take a knockout on this Chin Chow, but I feel fine. Severe poisoning. Obviously, the Zigzagoon plus Scoop Up Net could be the 60 damage we need. I really want to save the Scoop Up Net for when they eventually Thunder Wave us into Oblivion. It's going to be a good uh, good card for our arc here. So let's see. A lot of resources gone for my opponent already. Palpat, Guzma, Boss. 
mean, even N and Chip Chip, those are really good ones. They have down their rescue stretcher. So if we can find our field blower, that would be a really good card for us. Take away a couple of, couple of duders there. I suspect that they will retreat into the Lily's polka doll. That would be my thought. We're going to thunder wave and they do get heads. They are going to knock themselves out though. So I don't know that that was necessarily the best play. I'm open to people kind of convincing me otherwise, but this feels a little, so we'll stand in. We will boss up the Magnemite. We can take a Magnemite knockout because we have the Verbank. So we're going to do a perfect 60. Boss up the Magnemite. Retreat. At this point, I think I can commit like one energy to the Crobat. That seems fine to me. We'll go ahead and Severe Poison doing 60 damage now. More importantly, getting rid of that stadium. That stadium has been a real pain in our side throughout the entire game. There's a float stone. This is all looking really nice for us. Well played, Phoenix says. They said well played last game. They did say well played last game, and then they almost brought it back. So I don't trust you, Phoenix. You, you, you're a little cunning little... Cunning little glasses wearing, hat wearing dude over there. You can never trust those glasses wearing, hat wearing, sweater wearing men. Just don't do it. You never heard that? You never heard your mom say, don't talk to strangers and also never trust the hat and glasses and sweater wearing men? I been saying it for years, man. Okay, this is good. Hand disruption, very strong for them. They get the counter stadium. I wonder how many counter stadiums they play because we only really saw the glimmy on the last turn. Um, we have a Pierce. We also have a VS Seeker, which is super good because we can... Use that to maybe boss up something. Um, they're going to go with the field blower. That's fine. Not super concerned about that. And then they'll do 40 damage with the spider thread. Going to take back maybe a Guzma to hand. At this point, we could end them. We could Marnie. Maybe Marnie seems like the best choice here for the VS Seeker. Or we could just hold it. Or we could just hold it. They're thinking really hard. I think what they take will depend on what we, you know, what we do will depend on what they take. Take an N. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. Take an N. You can put that to the bottom, poison. Be a seeker for Marnie, but we wouldn't get. We still have Tate and Liza. I think we should draw cards here. And let's not. Let's try to not give them advantage. Uh, I do want to pressure the active. So this all feels. This all feels good. When the lights go down. In the city, and the sun shines on the bay. Do I wanna be there in my city? Whoa, oh, 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 oh. You didn't think you'd be crooned on <laughs> watching some Pokemon TCG content, did you? And this is the point where I, my retention tanks, everyone clicks off the video. They're like, this guy sucks. Okay, you backseat singers. Come up here and do it yourself then. 
you think you're so good, come on my stream and sing yourselves. He's becoming unhinged. He's unhinged. Skerp? Erp nerd. Skerp erp nerd. Per kerchur. There's a counter catcher. Bringing up the Zerwerk. We would be fine. Honestly, we would be fine to just manually retreat because we do have the twin energy. It's not the greatest thing, but it like it's it's fine. Alright, so they are gonna pass here. Um hmm. What do we have? I don't even think we want to play this, to be honest with you. Let's go here. Let's go Evo Incense. Get rid of a card that we will not be playing, which is going to be our Hydreigon. Sorry, we made a deck with you, but we just are unable to play you. And then we will retreat. Well, we have Guzma. Could just take a knockout. They're going to paralyze us. And then we Guzma. But we need to prevent them from doing substrika things. I think we retreat. Into the wheeze. Just make it as hard as possible. There's that. Severe poison. Take the KO. Passes back to them. Hey, the Magneton. Oh, baby. They're going to end us. All right. Smart move by us to retreat because we lose the Guzma here. We go down to three cards. Yeah. Yeah. I don't want to pat myself on the back too hard because I might throw it out, but we did good. Good move. So they probably just pass here with the Zubstrika active. Um, Mm, I don't know. That's tough. That's a tough one. I don't know what we have prized. If I knew what we had prized, if I had taken the time to go through the, the deck and, and figure it out, I might want to stand in and mind jack here on the Substrika because then what they have to do is basically use the Magneton. This is their only attacker. Um, oh, jeez. Because right now we're in such a commanding position but I could do 110 to their Substrike and they have no draw outside of using Magneton, which then they can't Magnezone. I'm going to go for it because I'm, I'm cracked. I'm going to go for it because I'm cracked. Um, 30 for each bench. So we need the muscle band here. And then we'll go Mind Jack. 120 KO. And then we're just putting the ball in my opponent's court. And we're saying, you can either deal with the Zorark or you can get the heck out of town. I think they're going to have to sack their Magneton, which is definitely not what they want to do. They could do 40 damage with the Galvantula. But that's also not really something they want to do. Oh, there's the Magnezone. Dude, I guess they only have seven cards in the deck. <laughs> but honestly, taking out the Substrike is really good for us. So they might just have to go for a Nuzzle play. They might not have a supporter. It's impossible to say. How many? Let's see. Okay, they do have a loose. I mean, ah, this is the. They're going to Faba, I think. I think they're going to Faba here. Oh, man. This is so tough. I think you take back Faba and like maybe a draw card. They're going to go Will. Okay, interesting. And the Glimmy. All right. See that little glimmy come back. I would have probably gone Faba. Taken off the energy. They're just going to will guarantee the uh, guarantee the nuzzle. <laughs> we'll see where this goes. They are down so many resources, but might be able to claw back into this one as long as they have. They have um, Ordinary Rod and Super... Uh, ordinary Rod and Rescue Stretcher. I don't know if they play Super Rod. We'll go ahead and pass.
Hmm. Cynthia and Caitlin. They'll need some kind of shuffle draw. We still have Guzma and Tate and Eliza left in the deck. If we can find those cards, we'll be on the fast track to winning this game. There's a nest ball. They fail. What can they do here? Clara. Okay. Or Clara. That's more close. Blitzel and Raichu. Smart. <laughs> they need that Substrika. That's why I was thinking about taking that out earlier. Is like, it's just such a big card for them. So, they'll go ahead and nuzzle two tails. Two tails, please. Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! Let's go, dude! Let's go! <laughs> He's freaking cracked, bro. What the frick, dude? Oh my gosh. Um, and we can end, I guess. It's not going to do us any good uh, later. So let's go ahead and end and see what we can get. Oh, cracked. Cracked in half, bro. Cracked in half is what we can do here is take the knockout on the Zork and then we can hit for big damage with the Crobat on the next turn. So I'll attach. Um, oh, shoot. It's really tough. I, th I think I'll just keep it. Yeah, and let's mind jack. Take the KO. We can hit for 100 damage with the Crobat next turn with the scoop up net. This is all perfectly working out. Oh my goodness. We just have to hope for no end. No N. They've played Lusamine, I believe. That was last turn. I don't see it. So they could Lusamine for the N, potentially. There's the Lusamine. The Will and the Cynthia and Caitlin. I don't agree with this. I think they needed to N, and then they maybe could have also willed. They can't play Cynthia and Caitlyn. They're going to just agility. That's it. They should have end, bro. <laughs> oh, let's go. Let's go. He's correct. Oh, wait. Oh, that does nothing. <laughs> oh, sheesh. Um, they're going to Cynthia and Caitlyn for N. Cynthia and Caitlin for N. So we need to retreat. Should have kept the energy. It's fine. Well, severe poison. We should field blower ourselves. It's a bit of an odd play. It's a bit of an odd play. Huh. But let's see. Do we have. We should still have a. Floatstone. Yeah, so let's feel blow ourselves and the Glimmy. And then we'll severe poison. And this basically means that they can't Cynthia and Caitlin to get back the end. So we we don't guarantee have it. Um but it it looks really nice. We get to keep the scoop up net. Most likely they might play Marnie, but then presumably we could find like a gust of our own. Um, yeah, there's that Cynthia and Caitlin. They're not going to be able to move the Scalarian Weezing unless they have counter catcher still in deck. I don't know that th there it is. I was going to say, I don't know that they do. There's an agility. They get tails. That will do it. We can attach. Stand in. And your GLC champion. JW Crewall. 
<laughs> with the dark deck. Hey, peep the build, guys, in the description below. Hope you enjoyed this GLC content. It was a lot of fun for me to make. So if you liked it, please, please, please make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel. If you're not already, I don't know why you wouldn't be, but if you're not, please make sure to subscribe. That's going to be all for me today, guys. God bless. If I don't see you soon, I'll see you later. And remember, good luck and also have fun.